Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're out spreading TSP and MOP on some of the sort of X bean fields and the wheat fields we didn't get a chance to spread before drilling. Um, but in a field here, which you might recognise because this was the first uh, the video I put on of the drilling, the first drilling video I put on, uh, drilled on the 24th of August. Obviously, this was a field of winter barley before, so these are some of the volunteers here you can see. Um, just sort of coming up, but they've been sprayed off now, so um, they sh should see them go the, over the next couple of weeks. Um, but just thought I'd come and have a look at the emergence. Going all right, but what farmers are really concerned about, let me see if I can find some. There's a good example. Uh, that's what we're after see the holes in the plant so this is caused by a cabbage stem flea beetle uh, or CSFB the farmers are absolutely cursing them at the moment um, obviously chewing through the leaf reducing the the yields the leaf area photosynthesis and so on was being able to be controlled by neonicotinoid seed dressings but that's since been banned uh, basically because of bees over the short story um, it was thought that it was causing paralysis I think of the central nervous system in bees and therefore like killing them off but in fact I think it's just sort of dazing them so it takes them a little while longer to, to find their way back home anyway without that argument it's causing farms a massive issue and seen all over social media twitter and things that farms are actually ripping out the old seed rape they've spent money time and effort on uh on growing and putting in other things like maize or waiting to put in wheat, uh, spring crops and so on. Um, so this is kind of what we're out looking for and you can also you can spray for it but it's not quite as effective as the seed dressing was so it's a little bit, little bit more risky to, to grow all seed rape. Um, other things we're looking out for is of course slugs and uh, yeah, here's, here's a plant that's been absolutely hammered by cabbage stem flea beetle and also slugs. So uh, cabbage stem flea beetle causing these shot hole sort of, yeah, obviously the holes in the leaf and then some slugs just sort of nibbling around the edge as well. So um, yeah, very kind. You can see just in there, these are some of the metaldehyde slug pellets that were, uh, that have been spread on the field in a kind of effort to uh, minimise, why is that gone out of focus, there we go, uh, in an effort to sort of control the slugs but not quite doing so um, in this case. Also the field hasn't been rolled which is another issue for sort of trash and slugs as well um, so you just got to know which fields you haven't been able to roll and keep an eye on them a little bit more than uh, those that have been rolled. Um, so yeah, actually ironically, so they're trying to kind of protect the bees, which is absolutely fine. We want wildlife on the farm, but farmers are therefore having to rip out the crop or grow less all seed rape because it's too risky, and therefore not able to support the bee population. So it's kind of like slightly back slap them and slap themselves in the face, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, what do I know? <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah. We... I drilled this field, yeah, it's the 24th of August, that one, 24th of August, and we just rocked up to this gateway here, and I'll put a video on now of, uh, of what happened, but basically sort of poured down with rain completely. Um, and we'll go and have a look. These were obviously drilled, therefore, what would I say? maybe a week later than, than that field there. This one was drilled quite late at night, so this should be behind a few, quite a few stages in terms of the growth. This, yeah, by the looks of things, this has been rolled. There we go, this has definitely been rolled. Um, so yeah, you can see the difference with sort of consolidation and less cloddy. Hopefully less sort of, well this is just a more trashy field, this was wheat. Um, it's also had slug pellets on. And yeah, so there's some wheat volunteers just down that row there. Let's have a look at some of the also rape that's coming up. So here's a little bunch of them. Obviously you can see, yeah, quite a few sort of growth stages behind. 
they're looking fairly clean but I want to keep an eye on these for against flea beetle and slug damage um, and obviously therefore just <laughs> the thing is if you're if you're having an issue in that field it's likely that you're then going to have an issue in this field also looking out for weeds I'm not sure what that is hope to do my basis over the next few years so um, I'm sure I'll get a bit more refined at uh, finding out what weeds are and so on but yeah so this would have been drilled uh, yeah I'd say a week later or something and um, quite a nice little block of obviously rape coming up here so uh, while I was here I thought we'd come and have a look um, we'll go off and spread some now I've just got the MOP on some X bean ground so I'll hop out uh, in the tractor there and show you that as well that should make a nice sort of little update video which I'll probably post while I am uh, chilling out in Lanzarote next week but yeah coming up nicely but just got to keep an eye on things right um, will I end this video here or will I add more to it who knows so uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll either see you in a minute or see you in another video cheers